Now, Adrian, I'm going to make a eggplant stew. It's got a little bit of a Middle Eastern feel. What I'll get you to do is just finely dice the zucchini for sure, me. Sure. And I've got carrot. Now, you'll notice that everything has its skin on. I, I really keep stressing this. It's such a simple way to add more nutrition into your food. Keep the skin on because the skin always has the antioxidants in it. So I've just chopped the eggplant into rounds. The nice thing about eggplant, it's got this lovely sort of fleshy texture, so it really absorbs all of the flavours that you're putting in with it. OK. There we go. How's, is that enough for yeah, you there? That's great. Yeah, maybe, maybe we don't need the second one, actually. Those, those, that um, I'll zucchinis. save that for later on. There we go. Now, I know you love vegetables. I do, you I know do. You play it up a little bit for us here. It's all part of a healthy diet. I mean, I just love my meat. I love cooking meat. It's really important to me, but eating vegetables also helps to balance out all the meat that we eat, see? There's my vegetable for the day. <laughs> oh. His token vegetable for the day. All right, so I've got a big pan. It's low. It's easy to really mix everything around. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to pop all of these vegetables straight into my pan. Now, eggplant does have a high water content in it, so it might spit a little bit. So we want to keep that temperature sort of moderate. All right, so we'll give that a little stir through. Now, this really is a sort of a, a one-pot wonder. Everything goes in. So I've got some vegetable stock. I've got some salt-reduced tomato paste. So, again, that's going to add a little bit of richness to what we're cooking here. I've got some chilli sauce. Again, always use good quality chilli sauce if you are going to use a bottled product. I oh, love chilli sauce. Nice and hot. I would have probably put some lamb in there or something, yeah, but, but okay. this is the vegetarian version of it. It looks great. Yeah, look, yeah. I mean, I always try to sort of excite people about having a balance of vegetarian food and animal protein in their diet. For me, I feel amazing eating that way, and I, I know you guys will as well. I've got ducker. Now, ducker is fantastic. It's a combination of different nuts and spices. It's got carrots seeds and it's really beautiful very heavily used through the Middle East just adds a great flavor to it so it's really simple we've got some rice which I've already cooked um, I've got two cups of basmati rice I prefer to use the basmati because it's a long grain rice again it's lower GI so you fuller for longer slower releasing energy all that good stuff and I've got some avocado and some curry powder it's that simple. So I've got my rice. I'm going to just put that straight into the bowl. It's still warm, so we want to have warm temperature. Um, Adrian, can I get you to just cube this sure, avocado for sure. me? And I'm going to use some curry powder. Now, again, I like to always go for MSG-free, preservative-free curry powders. It smells really good, and you don't need a lot of it. So about two teaspoons we're going to add to this. I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper and olive oil, but not much. I can really smell that curry powder. That's really strong. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I love that yeah. Smell. Look, it just it works really nicely with the um, all the veggies because it's got quite a strong flavour to it, and the vegetables are just amazing. All the sauce absorbs into that as well. Got a little bit of olive oil. Lovely. And the avocado makes a great colour in this. It's really yummy, and it's a bit of a it's a little bit of a cheap way to make a, a simple simple rice dish. Now that's bubbling away. It's probably going to take another 10 minutes. The best thing to do, though, is to try the eggplant. If it tastes good, it's good to go. OK, snake beans are in there. The torn basil, the flavours are going to be amazing. And my eggplant duck ass dish, it's going to be great. i tell you what, Zoe, I was just watching all this go together and I thought, oh, it's just going to look, look OK. But it actually looks really, really good. It's, um, it's exciting. And, of course... I love it. I've still got the firmness of the vegetables, mm. but it's cooked. Tastes delicious. I like the chilli in there. It's got a bit of heat. I think it's a cracker. I like the way that the, um, the eggplant's a little bit spongy still, but it's uh, cooked all the way through. It's got great flavour. You try that? And the rice? Mm. I really like, with the rice, the avocado, because it makes a lovely sort of rich, sort of almost decadent type of texture and feeling and taste, but it isn't. It's so good for you. Eggplant is a winner for me. I love using it in lots of dishes. These two together are going to fill me up for ages. Both are exquisite, Zoe. <laughs>